quick update on that sweater that I have been working on. Playing a game of yarn chicken. I'm definitely, I'm absolutely shortening the sleeve. Um, I'll insert a picture of the um, uh, pattern image. But I'm definitely shortening it, shortening it and making it a cropped sweater. So it's supposed to end um, somewhere around here. And as far as the sleeves go, I'm probably going to add an inch in pattern and then start working on the ribbing and then bind off for those. So I'm going to make it a short sleeve cropped sweater that I can wear with high waisted pants. I think I can finish it with this much yarn. I haven't weighed this yet. I don't know how much is left. I think I can though. I believe in myself. I actually enjoy playing yarn chicken. a big part of everyone's lives and it's so easy to find people on social media. What do you think would happen if bill collectors started commenting on your posts on social media? So like you post about how you've got new shoes or something and then like a bill collector is like, oh I wonder how much those shoes cost. That, that's around the same payment, maybe the same amount as your monthly payment that you stopped making about two months ago. If you'd like to, you know, get back up to date with your payments, go ahead and call me back instead of spending money that you don't have. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> do you think that people would accept that? How do you think people would feel? So if you can't tell, I did lose my game of yarn chicken. I ran out of yarn about here. This is just under the bust line. Um, so I'm kind of worried this is going to look weird. It's just like great above the bust and by underneath, especially since it's a fitted sheet. and um, fitted sheet. I'm doing my laundry, if you can't tell. Especially since it's a fitted sweater, because I have seen people do two-tone sweaters like this. But they're usually loose sweaters. I feel like it might look strange with it just like the part that goes in under the bust is green and then it comes out you know, a grayish, it's not, it's not actually white, it's a grayish speckled color that actually complements this color really well. This is, it's kind of hard to pick up the color on camera. Let me see if I can adjust it. This color is called Mocha and this color is called Toy Elephant Marled. They did, they don't make this Mocha anymore. I bought this yarn like a, a few years ago with the intention of making a baby sweater and so I only needed one, one ball of it. And then I changed my mind and decided to make myself a sweater with it. And I'm not a baby. I'm a large woman. So <laughs> so I had to add more, a different color. I'm going to keep it short sleeve. I do need, um, you know, I, I actually do have a tiny bit left that I intend to use um, for the sleeve. So I need to get to maybe about here on the sleeves. And you can see where that kind of the top of the leaf pattern is forming so maybe maybe about here and then I'm gonna switch to the toy elephant marled color and then finish off the sleeves or I might just finish the sleeves completely with a little bit of yarn that I have left over just a short sleeve because I think when people do two-tone sweaters they usually start with the color that they've chosen for the top and then once they're almost like at around like the same length is when they usually switch to the second color and I'm not gonna get to the same length you know is this I'm doing really short sleeves these are actually almost the right length so maybe I will just finish it off in the mocha and then only the bottom will be the marled toy elephant but this is how my Bayard pullover is coming along I really like the way it's turning out I think it's really pretty I've always loved um, the way um, knit leaves look I wish that my camera would properly pick up the color now it's looking very washed out Maybe now? Yes, there we go. So I really like this leaf pattern. I think it's beautiful. And it looks nice on. I think I took a picture of myself with it on. If I did, I will insert it somewhere around here. Okay, so I did not end up having a picture. Thought I took a picture of the uh, sweater trying it on before, but I did not. So here's a video instead. That's what it looks like. 
Yeah, I feel like it, I don't know, it might kind of look strange with this color, but I'm still going to finish it and see. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done the shaping. Maybe I should have let it be like a, a loose sweater. Maybe just the fact that this line is like right here is what I'm thinking makes it look weird. I don't know. But regardless, I, st I still love the top. Like, forget the bottom. The top is amazing. I love this. And I'll, I just, I love it. Okay. So I'm going to continue on working on it. And I feel like, even if I don't end up liking, like, loving this line, I'm still, I'm still going to wear it. I made this. Like, this, I'm, I'm going to wear it regardless. But, you know. Considering leaving it at this length. But now I'm not liking that, so I think I'm just going to start two by two ribbing here and then work all the way down. So that if I decide I want to tuck it in, it'll look nice, but I don't necessarily have to. Is this lens dirty? Clean it with my yarn. I don't know why it's so fuzzy. Anyway, I think I'm just going to add two by two ribbing because I'm not really liking the way this is looking and stomach bold and all that nonsense so yeah I was originally gonna make it like a cropped top and stop here but I think I'm just gonna do like two maybe three inches of two by two ribbing I just started the ribbing on my sweater very excited like I said I think I'm gonna continue this on for like two or three inches but I am going to try it on periodically to see if I like the way that that looks because I do want the option to be able to wear it tucked in and I think that sweaters and shirts with like really long um kind of like fitted ribbed areas look better tucked in but they also look nice above the pants so we'll see this is what it looks like right now okay so I'm at my final try on I think that I'm going to I put this um progress keeper here because I think I'm going to knit the ribbing out to be four inches long so as of right now it's one inch long and it you know it's it's kind of short so I'm gonna do four inches of ribbing I'm actually liking the way it fits I feel like it looks better in person than it does on camera but I'm really liking the way it's fitting so far very happy I bought this yarn two days ago look at this it's pretty fast So one and a half inches left on this sweater. It's kind of hard to angle because of a wallet case. Okay. So you can see it's almost there. It's one and a half inches left and then my sweater is done. I'm so excited. Hey guys. All right. So now I am picking up my sleeves. So I have to pick up six stitches under the armpit and then um, you know, knit around in pattern. There's a little bit decreasing, but like I said, I don't have enough yarn. This is all the yarn that I have left um, for those sleeves. I was planning on shortening the sleeves anyway, so it's fine, but these are each four gram balls of yarn, and I'm going to um, see how long I can get the ribbing while using as much of this yarn as possible. I want to leave enough to have a decent um, yarn tail to sew in, so we'll see. So I decided to add a light, the light yarn around the edge of the sleeve after all. I've already finished the first one. I only did two rows of it, so I did one row straight knit so that it would, you know, so that it would hide the transition row and look, you know, quite as bumpy and ugly. And then I bound off 
in the color, so I actually I only knit one row and then I bound off using this color. I'm gonna do the same for this side. So I'm on the knit row right now. Almost finished with it, and then I'm gonna bind off. As for the bottom, the only reason that I haven't finished it is because I'm not quite sure what bind off I want to use. I want to bind off in a way that is really uh, stretchy, so I don't have to worry about you know not stretching properly and being difficult to put on. Looking into a few different methods. And it's done. Well, it's not done, I still have to do the bottom rib. But my sleeves are done. Lots of ends to weave in though. Should be interesting trying to hide the tails by weaving in when there's so little of this color to work with on the sleeve. So now I just have to figure out how I want to bind this off. And I initially wanted to do um, sewn bind off, and that's why I took the measurement of how much yarn I would need to do that. And I started it, well, I started several versions of it, and I wasn't really happy with what it was turning out, so I just kind of put it on the back burner and focused on the sleeves so that this wouldn't be holding me back from finishing the sweater. And I figured I could make the decision while I was waiting. So now we'll see which one I choose. So don't mind me and my scarf. It's right before bed. Oh, my head looks like it's missing. That's odd. That's not what this is about. I finally figured out what um, bind off I want to use. I've decided that I want to use, um, I don't know that it has a name, she just, um, the video is called A Simple Stretchy Bind Off, I believe. Um, of course I will have the title somewhere around here of the actual, you know, video name. But anyway, um, it was posted by Very Pink Knits, um, I love her tutorials, and so I decided that that's what I was going to do for this. And I believe that I did leave myself watching King of the Hill. I do believe that I left myself enough yarn. I, I did um, three and a half, I believe, times the amount, or, or the length, the length of the, you know, full circle of the sweater. I did three and a half times the amount of length for this. It's just kind of wound up. So I'm hoping that'll be enough for this bind off. I will let you know, of course, if it isn't. I'm just really excited. After I do this, I'm done with the sweater. I'm so excited. This is amazing for me. I don't, like, this is the first year that I've finished more than one thing for myself within a reasonable amount of time. And I've just been so proud of myself. I totally blame um, knitting stuff for Selena's baby. I think I mentioned it in my podcast. It was like once I started knitting stuff continuously because I just wanted to have stuff um, out there for her. I wanted to, um, once I knew because like I kind of started most of the projects after she was born because I wanted to know how they would fit I, big babies run in both of our families and it was um, tr you know correct she did have a big baby I forget that we're not blood related she's related by marriage <laughs> I say both of our families her husband is you know the outsider that married our family member but she's not my blood relative so but big babies still run their families so I wanted to wait a little bit because I don't want to waste you know making a bunch of tiny things that she can't fit so um, anyway long rant just to say that I, I know how I'm going to bind off this sweater and I'm very happy good night <laughs> okay guys so I don't know if you can tell but this is the stretchiest bind off ever uh, it's amazing. I'm so happy with it. Now I'm going to take off the white part of the um, or the marled elephant yarn on the sleeves, which is where I um, what the that's the color that I used to bind off because as you can see the sleeves are kind of tight, and I'm going to bind off in the same way. I'm so excited. 
I love this sweater. This is my favorite one to date. All right, so guess what's finished? My Bayard pullover. I have to take this out. I just wanted to identify what I was calling the front when I was taking my measurements, but my sweater is finished. And the reason that I'm not wearing it right now is because I want to put it on because I just really want you to see just how stretchy this cast off is. It's amazing. So I'm going to put the sweater on so you can see, look at like, look at how stretchy this is. It's just blowing my mind. <laughs> Might look weird over the shirt. But you'll you, you get the idea of what it looks like. You get the idea. Look at how stretchy this sweater is. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I bound off the sleeves in the typical way and they were a little too tight. So I went back and bound them off in the same way that I did the bottom. So the sleeves are also very stretchy. It's so nice. I love this sweater. I enjoyed making it and I enjoy wearing it. It's really soft, it's really comfortable. I would say that the only complaint that I had about the entire process um, was the way that the uh, yoke was knit. I mean, the way that the, I should say not the way the yoke was knit, but the way that the uh, charts were laid out. So they were set up for different sizes. You use different charts in different amounts. So the actual charts were very small. You know, it was like chart A, chart B, chart C. And if you were doing, for example, say the size I was doing, it would say like, do chart A seven times, do chart, or no, do chart B seven times, do chart A one time, do chart C five times or something like that. And that would have taken forever if I had just followed the charts, you know, out of the book, you know, just jumping back and forth and like, you know, marking how many times I've done that. So what I actually ended up doing was I ended up taking pictures of each chart and pasting them next to each other in paint so that I had a straight line across of every single of every chart with every with the perfect amount of um, chart repeats for each chart that I needed and I would just scroll down along the way and then I also would do, I drew a box um, I don't even know if this was the most efficient way but that's what came to me in the moment I was tired and I just really wanted to get it done um, so then from there I just I would uh, draw a box over the you know rows that I had already completed and just drag that box upward so I never um, skipped a row or anything like that and it worked out well for me it went I know that it would have been so much faster because I tried to do the very first row just by jumping back and forth between the charts and the book and it took such a long time it's like okay I finished this once now let me tally I'm going to finish it again and then I'm going to leave it on the tally and then I'm going to switch to the next one we put a mark next to that one it's like oh wait which one am I supposed to do seven times you know, it was just a hassle. So I ended up putting everything into paint and it worked out um, really well. I'm glad I did that. It sounded kind of funny. Um, at the time, I didn't really know if it was gonna be efficient, but it went by so fast. Um, I finished that yoke um, very quickly because I did that, I'm glad I did. Um, so I'm just gonna do a turnaround so you can see the sweater. So you can see the ribbing that I love so much. And as I said, I didn't want to be able to wear it with high-waisted. This is my grandpa's belt. He was very skinny. He could actually wear the belt at his waist. I can only wear this at my, you know, true waist, not my hips, which is where we tend to wear our, you know, belts nowadays. So I wanted to be able to wear it tucked in like a sweater. I'm just going to tuck in with, I mean, tucked in with um, high-waisted pants. I'm going to tuck it in just in the front so you can kind of see how that would look. I think it looks good. I'm not gonna lie and say that I wouldn't have preferred that the entire thing be this mocha color, but I just couldn't find it. And I, to be fair, I did not look to see if it was discontinued, but the Hobby Lobby that I went to just didn't have it. So it might, may have not been discontinued, I just assumed, because I bought it so long ago that it was just a color that they weren't producing anymore. But anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching my first episode of what I am now calling the Knit Chronicles, which is basically just me chronicling start to finish um, projects that I'm really, really excited about. So it may not always be sweaters. I think a majority of them probably will be sweaters because to me those are the most exciting things to knit. And I love it when people post a lot of pictures on Ravelry of their sweaters and leave a lot of detailed notes and you know, talk about all the trials that they've had and all the wins that they've had and you know how they end up coming out on the top and have this perfect sweater that 
you know, they maybe had some up and downs, ups and downs, but they ended up with the sweater that they were hoping for. So I kind of wanted to take that and just turn it into a little video. Not sure how long this is going to end up being because I did record a lot more clips than I expected to. But I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then look forward to more soon because I already have a sweater in mind that I'm ready to cast on. I'm just back to back to back. I just have, I want more sweaters. I, I love them and I didn't make them for myself because I would just get really impatient and frustrated and I wanted um, instant gratification, small things, and I quickly realized that was pointless because I had these small things that I didn't necessarily want that I wasn't as excited about as I would have been if I were making the things that I wanted to make, like sweaters. And now that I'm into it like this, the, the past me would have taken like months to finish this section because it's so monotonous. It's like a, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like a, it's knit five pearl one garter type um, pattern. I would have gotten so bored with that in the past, but now I'm just so excited to be making stuff for myself and making things that I really want to add to my wardrobe to add value. And now I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. But anyway, I'm very happy with how the sweater turned out. I'm gonna post some pictures. I'm gonna add some pictures at the end of front and back, both off and on, so you can just get a feel for what it looks like. But I'm just so happy about how the sweater turned out. This is my favorite sweater to date. I love the collar. I love everything about the sweater. I absolutely love the weaves. I love, I love everything, it's great. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. Oh, and feel free to leave any comments or questions, or if you had a more efficient way that I could have put together the yoke charts to make it easier to just follow them quickly, you know, row by row instead of jumping back and forth between charts, and feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm still learning, um, and I would love to hear what, you know, veteran knitters do to make things simpler for themselves. Just save some time and some headache. Thank you for watching. Probably third time I said that and goodbye. <laughs>